Hello YouTube, I'm Oftal Freedy from DigiTube and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to talk about three best vlogging cameras in 2019. So I'm going to be talking about action camera, point and shoot and mirrorless. I do not recommend DSLR for vlogging. If you want, however, you can do it, but I do not think that is good for everyone. Because if you hold a heavy camera for about two minutes, you're going to feel your hand broken. So let's skip DSLR. So, when we have vlogging cameras, we take a few things in consideration. First of all, you can see yourself, means there is a front screen, a uh, flip out screen, or maybe any other way that you can see yourself. There must be a good autofocus because you do not want to focus yourself manually and you need good image quality. So, like if you take action cameras in consideration then you have to sacrifice the low light performance because you know the sensor size is really small and the aperture on the sensor may be like 2.8 or maybe more than that so you do not have to then buy action cameras for low light shooting however in uh, some rough conditions it will be really good and portability side it wins also and for example if we take the first one in our list in the action cameras that is the dji osmo action and the best thing about this is the stability so if you run or even walk or yeah everything you do not need a gimbal so the use of gimbal is finished that way you can shoot some really good hyperlapses and you do not fix the shake in post so it makes your work a lot easier and gives that cinematic look because cinematic footages are shot in steady games or in gimbals so you have a gimbal ready in your camera so that's a good point about the DJI Osmo action and then you also have a front screen so you can see yourself it records 4k video you do not need to care about the resolution stability is also good and the aperture is also better than all the other uh, cameras uh, in the action line maybe there are others that are good but I still recommend this because there is a front screen and that makes it a vlogging camera then in the point and shoot we still have the G7X Mark II from the Canon. I know this camera is really old, but the aperture on this is f1.8 and when you start shooting vlog on it, uh, then you can see a really good background blur. It performs really good in low light because of the aperture. The other thing that we should take in consideration is its stability. It has in-body stabilization, so the footages are really stable. So the last camera that I have on my list is a mirrorless camera that is the Sony A6400. I have the Sony A6300 and it's really good but it does not have a flip out screen so you can see yourself but the A6400 has a flip out screen so you can see yourself and it's good for vlogging that way. What is the best thing? You can change lenses like I have the 16mm f1.4 from the Sigma. You can see a really good background blur and this way you can also uh, change the lens to a telephoto and you have so many options without changing the camera body you can have so many lens options and the other good thing is that the sensor size is really big so it's good in low light and if you have a low aperture lens then it co it's gonna be a really good option then the other good thing is that this camera has 4k capability the g7x mark ii does not have 4k it just has 1080p but if you want to shoot in 4k this camera is for you so i'm using sigma and the lens autofocus is really great so this is the list that i have these are the top three best cameras so if you want to follow me on instagram that is after underscore freely if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for videos like this peace out